All right, so this video is coming to you totally out of order. We have a ton of content filmed. We gotta get to editing. But this place was uh, extra special to us, so we're gonna bring this to you now. This is probably more close to our current location in our travels. Um, this is Valhalla Mountain Farm. Um, it's a 501c charitable organization, and they rescue animals. They have cats, dogs, ponies, peacocks. I mean, pretty much you name it, they have it. And I wanted to bring this to you guys sooner than later while it's fresh in our minds and get a clean edit on it. Anyway, we discovered this place on Harvest Host. So take a minute. There's a link in the video um, description below that gives you a discount to the Harvest Host membership if you're interested. Uh, we get a little kickback from that and it helps the channel. And thanks again for watching. <clears throat> All right, so today we're here with Jen and Katie and this is Valhalla Mountain Farm. Um, you want to tell the folks a little bit about the place? Sure. Um, so we've been here for two years this month. Um, the farm was settled in 18, around 1879. The guineas want to be part of this too, so <laughs> you'll hear a lot of that. Um, the house was built in 1879 and um, it, there was a mill run on the farm. Um, but yeah. That's so, interesting. Yeah. And uh, about how many animals do you guys think you have here? Um, so we have, uh, I don't know how many chickens and roosters we have. <laughs> um, we have four peacocks. We have a bunch of guineas, uh, turkeys. We have four pigs, probably about 30 goats, um, but 20 barn cats, too many horses. Who am I missing? Five sheep. Five sheep. <laughs> a rescue turtle. Oh yeah. And we got two twins or two twins arrived yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Now, everybody has a favorite. Who's your favorite? <laughs> oh, gosh. My favorite's Clyde. Mm -hmm. Okay, Clyde is kind of a star of the farm. Clyde's um, the turkey. Yeah. We actually have one of our goats, one of our first goats. Um, her name is Tinkerbell, and she is so well-natured. She is sort of the ambassador to everybody on the farm. Whenever we bring in a new animal, she befriends it and makes it feel at home. So um, her markings are called moon spots. So that's, we pulled part of uh, the name of the nonprofit from, from that. So Gentle Moon is sort of after her. So Gentle Moon Conservancy is the name of your nonprofit. That's right. And that is a 501c corporation. Or, so it's a tax deduction. If you want to make a donation, you can go ahead and find them on Facebook. I found them just uh, searching Valhalla Mountain Farm. Uh, but also, you know, you can search the conservancy name. They'll come up. Um, also, you guys do Airbnb and uh, you do some boondocking allowed here, right? Yeah, harvest host and stuff like that. Talk about that a little bit. Sure. So we have um, a small cottage on the farm, um, and that's listed on Airbnb and Hip Camp. Um, and then we also encourage RVers and tent campers. Um, it's super peaceful. Stars are out at night, and um, we also have some livestock guardian dogs who will also take you under their wing when you're here. So it's it's fun and it's relaxing. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about those guardian dogs. I mean, we, we, we really love them. This is the first thing that when we got here is uh, we pulled up on the hill over there and they come to greet you right away and they're, they're huge. Yeah, so we have seven um, Great Pyrenees and they're all rescues. Um, and we've somehow become sort of the Great Pyrenees animal sanctuary in our area. Um, other, other animal sanctuaries around here call us when they get one brought into them. Um, but a livestock guardian dog, at heart, they're meant to stay out in a field with their livestock and protect them from predators. Um, uh, what we're finding is a lot of people who are getting Great Pyrenees puppies, because they're cute, they look like little fluffy polar bears, but at two years old, when they don't have a job and they're in a cage all day or a crate, um, they're being walked twice a day. That's not enough work for them. So they usually end up being rehomed, which is how I think we've end up, ended up with so many. So we have a 10 month old puppy and I think you've, you've met PB. Yeah, so I have. So he likes to steal things. So uh, He does. Yeah. He does. He actually stole some of my kindling. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. Um, yeah. He takes it to his spot and you know, he protects it. He's um, a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> so they have great personality. Yeah. But they do. Like Jen said, um, when guests are here, they've gotten used to um, people coming on the farm, and their their whole the whole farm plus plus the forest around it has become their perimeter where they protect. So anybody who's here, they are part of their livestock flock. Um, they will 
work the guests in the cottage to ask them if they can go in and sleep with them at night and everything <laughs> else. So, yes, they're, they're really great animals. Yeah, and, and, and a point to that is uh, we haven't seen one wild, crazy animal around here, so they do a very good job at what they do. <laughs> Except the ones that are supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so how, did you, uh, how did you get started with this? Um, back probably, I think, for both of us, around our mid-30s when we were trying to figure out what we wanted to be when we grew up, um, we knew we wanted to do something with animal rescue um, and more of a focus on farm animal rescue. Um, so that's, that was a goal for a while, and, and we looked at a bunch of different places. We visited other uh, animal sanctuaries and <clears throat> figured out kind of the parameters we needed, which, <laughs> which was how many acres and things like that. Yeah. Uh, we found this place as soon as it went on the market, and I mean, as soon as as soon as we saw it, it was like this is this is heaven. And the farm itself has offered us so many more opportunities than we actually um, originally had in our business plan. So you know, we were thinking animal rescue. Mm -hmm. Now we have animal rescue, and we have an Airbnb. We have guests coming from all over the the, the world, basically. Um, to come here and to just enjoy a peaceful stay, which is one of the things that we, this farm has sort of helped us evolve in is offering a place, not just sanctuary for animals, but also for people. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, our, our goal is to spread, you know, peace and kindness and love and compassion. And that goes across all species. Um, but we just, we just want people to come here and be a part of the farm and, and do what, if it's laying in the grass with the dogs, that then great. If that's your thing, it makes you happy. Or if it's a, if it's a mom who has to get away from her family for a few days to decompress and lock herself in the tiny house and come out, you know, recharge, then that's great. Um, that's what we've used it for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're, you know, we're very relaxed, um, very chill. We're very inclusive. We, we mm -hmm. you know, Whoever needs this should come here. Yeah, it's very it's very peaceful here. I, I, I can't speak well enough about it. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. You'll see, I'll show you in the video here, a little tour of the property and the animals and the, and the river and all kinds of other things. How, how big is this farm? So we sit in the, we're 25 acres and we sit right in the middle of 240 acres. Yeah, so there's there's not, not a lot of neighbors here. No. Yeah, and we, um, we're on the James River and there's hundreds of acres of um, private riverfront. So, you know, we have guests that go down for um, just just walks, uh, picnics, fishing. Um, we we encourage people to bring their fishing gear. I even saw some some primitive campsites down there. I saw some yeah, fireplaces yeah. down there. Yeah, it's real nice over there by the river. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just really it's a place to just come and experience new things and just chill out. And again, Jen said the star stargazing out here is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, the stars came out last night. It's been a little overcast, but the stars came out for a little bit last night and I couldn't even recognize where I was looking because there were so many stars. Normally I can identify the constellations, but I, I just couldn't see any. So yeah, the first um, the first summer that we were here, I would sit out on the front steps of the house and this is before we had we had campers and everything here. And I felt like I was sitting on a sound stage because it was just the noises and it was just there was no uh, light pollution so it was just mm. big sky and um but this farm ha definitely has some really good vibes it, and it's had that for for its existence um the family we bought it bought the farm from we've become very close with and they owned it for 50 years yeah and they were um you know they say this farm is always going to be a part of their DNA. There's just something about this place that just gives off really, really good energy. Yeah. And I, I think you said it already, but how old is the house again? When was it built? 1879. 1879. So yeah, that's, that's some history right there. Yeah. And the, uh, the family we bought the farm from, they restored, they re, like restored the whole house. It was falling down. Yeah. I mean, it's, this is like, Huck by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything without an animal here. Yeah. Um, so they restored it and then, um, so we are going to be entering a phase soon of just updating some of the, the outside of it. And mm -hmm. too. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just super cool. So, and the other, the other nice thing about this place, which I, I found a little unusual and different than other places we've been is they really do kind of leave you to yourself here. Um, they don't come out and bother you or anything. You get to spend time with the animals. There's nobody around. I mean, it's, that's a unique part of the experience because typically you have somebody watching over your shoulder or something like that, but you got free reign in this place and it's really nice. Yeah. And we, that's, that's part of how we, we want people to, um, to enjoy their experience here is on their own. 
we invite them to be part of our lives and we tell them, make yourselves at home. Um, the only thing we ask is that children under 12 are accompanied by an adult at all time. Other than that, we are, we're pretty relaxed. Yeah, and um, they, do, they do do harvest hosts, which I, I mentioned. And a lot of the harvest hosts, they want you to come there and buy things. They don't sell anything here. Nothing, nothing for nothing sale, yet. nothing yet. <laughs> no, but for now, nothing for sale. But if you want to buy firewood, they have that. And if you want to make a donation, that's, that's also something that they'll welcome. You know, there's a lot of animals here to take care of, so. Yeah, yeah we're, and we do, I mean, we do take donations and, and they're very, very helpful. We're footing most of the bill still. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're only two years into this, so yeah. we're not too known yet. Um, and not being able to do big in-person fundraisers has been a bit of a challenge, but mm -hmm. um, Harvest Host has not only brought in donations for us, but we've also made some friends that we will be lifelong friends with. Yeah, that's that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And um, so we have a bee program also. Yep. Um, so we I have saw the bee. The, I saw the beehives over there yeah. by the hill. So um, <laughs> part of part of the sanctuary is. Um, we offer beehive sponsorships. <laughs> um, so our beehives are all sponsored by people. And, you know, people always ask, oh, where are you going to sell the honey? And, um, and, and look, someday, hopefully, we will. But our goal is to not make honey. Our goal is to make more bees. So when we have a healthy hive, uh, we split that out and make a new hive out of it. So that's how we expand our apiary is from our own bees. And if, you know, if we get... I think last year we got like half a gallon of honey and that that was great we gave it to we gave it to some friends and some we call it patron of the bees um so it's just it's fun yeah this is a super great place so let me take you on a tour of this farm and uh don't forget Valhalla mountain farm and the uh gentle moon conservancy right. That's yeah. right. let's go on a ride beautiful is this place honey it's gorgeous it's really really nice it's breathtaking that's it how is. beautiful it is it is it's really freaking nice here i mean check this place out look at this oh my goodness mommy 
cameras never really capture these big scenes. No matter how hard you try, it just doesn't seem to capture exactly how beautiful it is in person. So I'm here to tell you that it's beautiful. <laughs> Dana, come to the side. Now we're gonna go see the river. We've made it to the, we don't know the name of the river river, and um, we finally made it to the river. Nice. I bet you it's the James River. It probably is, or that river that they tell you you gotta cross over, yeah. So we're here at the James River in Virginia. It's on the... Um, Start again. So we're here at the James River in Virginia. It's on the Valhalla Farm property. It's very close to Scottsville, Virginia. It sounds too. We sound too corny. Let's try again. Okay. What do you, how do you want to sound? You gotta sound more flowing. So on the Valhalla Farm, let's. I'll try that. So on the Valhalla Farm property. It abuts right up against the uh, James River. I don't know. <laughs> so on the Valhalla... You're going to tell me what you want me to say and what you want to say. I'm going to say you the... You can't just... Okay. I'm going to say on the Valhalla... Expect me to know what we're saying. I'm going to say that first part that I said, and then you're going to start busting out with the facts. Okay. Okay. So on the property, it abuts up against the James River here in Virginia. Is that what I'm supposed to go? I thought you were saying something else. <laughs> I don't know. It's like you're not cueing me. What? That's exactly what I said the first three times. No, you said that, oh, we're here at the Valhalla okay. Mountain Farm and blah, blah, blah. Hey! You didn't say any of that, so I didn't say anything back. So, also, all right, three, two, one, go. So also on the Valhalla Farm property, Va Valhalla, that's hard to say. Valhalla Farm, Valhalla. Valhalla make you wanna holla. So also on, so also on the Valhalla, I can't say it. Mountain Farm, Valhalla Mountain Farm. So also on the Valhalla Mountain Farm, it abuts, uh, the property abuts up against the James River. The James's River is located in Close to Scottsville, Virginia, it runs 348 miles from the Appalachian Mountains to Chesapeake Bay. It looks like it's going pretty quick. They get two <laughs> foot tides. Two foot tides in a river, that's interesting. Yeah. I think the river is at crest right now because of all the rain they've been having up north and, and here too. Yep. But uh, <laughs> let's take you around, take a look. Hope you enjoy.